Um, if you rewind back to March of 2020, when COVID first started, travel kind of dropped off a cliff. Uh, the rental car companies found that their demand was down 90%, and they kind of shifted into survival mode. They did what they had to to, to do to, to kind of keep their business running, which is sell off as many cars as they could. Um, and this totaled hundreds of thousands of cars, anywhere from 30 to 40% of the major uh, major rental car companies sold off 30 to 40% of their fleets. Um, and they essentially right-sized for the demand that they had at the time. Um, but if you fast forward to 2021 and people starting to get vaccinated, which is great news, uh, people started to feel more comfortable and people were, I think, just tired of being cooped up at home and being cold up in the Northeast and the Midwest and they wanted to go somewhere, anywhere. It really didn't matter where, but, you know, Florida was warm. Um, the environment was, was much more permissive than it was probably wherever they were coming from. You could dine in in restaurants, you could go to bars. Um, and I think that that was very appealing to folks, especially those folks who had gotten, you know, first or, or second shots. And they felt more comfortable. They felt like, you know, they were less at risk and they wanted to travel. And I think that was the first weekend where we really saw that demand come back uh, in a big way. And the rental car companies just simply didn't expect the demand to return that quickly. And they were caught off guard by it. And they didn't have anywhere near enough cars to, to meet that demand for all the people flying in. I mean, you could get airfare for 50 bucks each way, but the rental car was going to cost you 10 times that much, which was just insane.